told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed, as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat. Told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed, as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat. Told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed, as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat. told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed, as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat. told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed, as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat. Told by the press officer of a strategic health authority that I should reflect on the fate of the late Dr. David Kelly, who was found dead in a ditch with his wrist slashed as an example of what happens to whistleblowers, that they come to no good, that they end up suicidal, or unfortunate things happen to them. It was an overt threat.